Okay, so today I want to talk about fortifying and securing your front door to make it just about as impenetrable and burglar proof as it gets for a regular house. Um, so yeah, uh, before I get to that, obviously everybody's going to have different types of front doors. Um, some have windows, some don't, some, you know, some are made of different material. Some have windows on the side and all that stuff, but we'll get to a few of those points here in a minute. First, let's just start with your standard, um, your standard security for making your front door uh, much more secure and fortifying it and just uh, making it so it's a lot, lot harder for a home invader, a burglar, or anyone else to get through. So the first thing I want to show you is something called door armor. It may be a little bit difficult to see, but it's there. Anyway, what this is, what this does is makes your door almost impossible to kick in. Um, now, what you may not know is that your front door in the vast majority of homes can be kicked in in literally seconds. I mean, um, one kick, two kicks, even from a small person, for the most part, will will kick it right in. Uh, almost nobody knows that, even with a deadbolt, even with, with any sort of lock, whatever. So what this does is called door armor, and it makes it virtually impossible to kick your door in. Um, so it, it, as you can see, it's metal and there's different, um, slots in order to adjust it and whatnot. And, um, it's not that expensive. I want to say it was like around $75, give or take, definitely less than a hundred, but I think I might do my actual, an actual full review just on door armor at some point in the future. So I'm not going to go big time into detail on it right now. All I'm just wanting to say is that uh, getting something like this will definitely make your door much, much, much more secure, almost impossible to kick in. And I would be willing to bet right now your door is very easy to kick in. Now, another thing you can do in lieu of this, if you're really on a budget or it won't fit on your door for some reason, or you just, for any reason, you just can't get it or don't want to get it or it just doesn't work for you is what you do is you replace these screws right here see they're teeny teeny tiny screws in most doors um you know from the factory and they're very very easy to kick in if you replace these screws with three inch hardened screws they go all the way into the frame of your door and it makes your door much more difficult to kick in and um, I would actually run a few up and down the entire frame. I've done that in other doors in the past before I had door armor. But at the very least, you want to do that. I mean, we're talking five minutes of your time, uh, you know, a few cents or I don't even know, 50 cents, maybe a dollar to buy the screws. But you want to put at least three inch hard and long screws in to your door jam uh, or in whatever this is called uh, into this. Uh, if you can't get door armor, but I would highly recommend door armor. Okay. And also it does also cover the, um, the, um, now I can't even think of it. The hinges, the door, the door armor also covers the hinges. And again, if you can't, um, afford or it doesn't fit, or for whatever reason you can't get the door armor, I would highly recommend replacing all the screws, um, in your hinges with um with longer hardened three inch screws um it's cold outside so i'm not going to open the door again but obviously you open your door you'll see all the screws and all of your hinges and i would replace those so another thing that uh i would do is obviously have a deadbolt now i mean most people do have a deadbolt but not everybody does that is like, uh, you know, home front door security 101. You definitely want to have a deadbolt. So on my door in particular, you will see that I have 
a double-sided deadbolt. Now, you may not know what that is, but so if you're looking at the door from the outside, you use a key. If you're looking at it from the inside, you use a key. The reason I have that is because I have windows in my door, as you can see. So um, somebody can break through the window and just reach right in and unlock it on your normal deadbolt. Well, they can't do that here. They break through the window. They can't reach through. It doesn't matter. They are um, they're still locked out. And uh, another thing I forgot to show you on the door armor, I'm sorry. As you can see these, it also covers the deadbolt and the latch and everything. So it makes it, you know, almost impenetrable. I've heard um, that it would, you know, stand up to like a battering ram. I've seen videos and multiple videos online of people kicking and kicking and kicking and using hammers and bats and... Uh, throwing their bodies against it and everything they can and, and it just doesn't break through. So I would highly recommend door armor. And again, like I said, um, it doesn't always fit. It, it does, you know, obviously it takes a little bit of room to put it in there. So maybe it doesn't fit in your door or maybe it's just not in your budget, even though it's not that expensive. Uh, but I'll link to it in the um, description below. And I, like I said, I'm also planning on doing a full review of it. On its own but um so i'm not gonna do a full review of it here but yeah definitely get that but otherwise at the very least replace all of your screws in your in your hinges and in your handle and your deadbolt and your um all the ones over here everything with three inch hardened screws so they go all the way in there and they make it very very difficult to kick your door in um, not as much as fortifying with door armor but still it's about as good as you can get. So anyway, uh, back to the deadbolt. Yeah, you definitely want to have a deadbolt, no doubt. If you have windows, a lot of people have windows in the side, you know. If there's decorative windows over here on the side and whatnot. Um, again, people don't think about the fact that somebody can just break in the window and reach in and unlock your typical deadbolt. So I highly would recommend a double-sided if you have windows. So they can't do that. Now, another thing you can do is window film there is um security window film that you can put on these windows any windows to make them very difficult to break through now it's not impossible but it slows somebody down by you know it takes them minutes and minutes um i you know i've seen dem demos where they couldn't get through it at all i've seen demos where it took a few minutes i've seen demos where it took a half an hour or whatever but the point is you know you throw a brick at this you throw a baseball bat at that, you put a hammer at that, um, whatever somebody might have on them in general, and um, they're either not going to get through it all, at all, or it's going to take them minutes, if not, um, you know, a half an hour or whatever. So the point is, they're probably going to give up, or at the very least, it's going to buy you plenty of time to you know, get out of the house or get your defenses set up or do whatever your plan is in the event of a home invader or a burglar. Um, now, I actually currently don't have the window film on there yet. However, it is right there in that tube and I'm planning to put it on this weekend. Therefore, by the time you see this video, it will likely be on there. So anyway, um, that's kind of your, your uh, you know, three or four step security system or, you know, fortification and, and uh, uh, front door, whatever you want to call it, You're fortifying your front door so it can't be penetrated. So definitely um, either get door armor or at the very least replace your screws um, in all of these areas. Do, 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 you get it. Um, secondly, make sure you have a deadbolt. And if you have windows of any kind, put a double-sided deadbolt on. Um, and then window film, I would highly recommend, um, if your window is really small and the people, somebody couldn't climb through it or anything like that, then you may not need the window film, but I would recommend it anyway. And, and you don't even have to put it just on your front door. You can put it on windows that are, you know, various, um, windows that might be easy to get through on your, maybe on your first floor, or, um, even if, if you live somewhere where there's, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, things like that. It's just, 
it just helps a lot from keep from your window shattering from even natural causes as opposed to someone trying to get in. But either way, it's going to either prevent or um, significantly slow down a home invader or a burglar um, so they can't get through your windows. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, put in door armor or, secu or security longer security screws. Uh, make sure you have a deadbolt, double side if your windows, and put... Um, window film on there and that basically you know makes your door you know very very fortified it, it it's almost impenetrable at that point and then a couple other things i would like to say about the front door uh security is just make sure you're always locking your door uh, you know it, it seems so simple but so many people don't do it i don't care if you're home um if you're just going out for a few minutes, you know, if you're leaving for the night, whatever, just lock your door. Just make it a habit. Always keep your doors locked. Um, you know, as I've said in other videos and I'll say in probably every video we, we make, or I make is it's all about, um, deterring, slowing them down. You know, just, uh, if somebody can walk up and just walk right in your door, well, you did nothing to deter them. You did nothing to slow them down. Um, at the very least lock it that that that's like the very first step um another thing is don't leave a key hidden outside um a lot of people do this i don't think people do it quite as much anymore but it's it's still something people do a lot you know you think your key is hidden in you know under that rock or that mat or up there on the side or wherever but uh you know home invaders burglars especially if if you know they aren't just somebody running around looking for an opportunity, but somebody that actually halfway knows what they're doing. They know all the hiding spots. They know to look for it. They know, they know this. They they know that there might be one out there. It's just not worth hiding. And if you absolutely have to hide one out there, really hide it. Don't put it in any place where it's obvious at all. I mean, make sure it is truly hidden and no one is just finding that thing without knowing exactly where it is. And And even change the hiding spot every once in a while. Um, just in case. So anyway, those are just a couple extra tips there. Uh, lock your doors and don't keep a key hidden outside. But anyway, uh, so that is today's video on making your front door burglar proof. Um, so come back soon for more videos on home security, home defense, and, uh, making sure that you are not being invaded or burglarized. Have a great day.